Hello everyone, I'm Devesh Boga from BTEC IT first year. So I will be helping you out with solving EGD questions. First we have to make layers of continuous and projection. So for the projection layer you can give any of the color and for continuous uh, the white is recommended. Before starting question we need to check all of this. So the first one is the auto mode which will help uh, in giving the straight lines. This is isometric drafting which will change your uh, axis. Here is the object snap which will help you to catch any of the point on the drawing and select all of them. Yeah, so uh, this is our first question of isometric projection. So this is what it should be looking like in the end. Firstly, we'll analyze the question. The front view and the left hand side view is given in the question. So the height of the object is 20 plus 30 plus 20. The last 20 which is uh, the radius of the outer semicircle and the in front view we have 10 plus 20 plus 10 which is 40 and in even in the left hand side view we have 40. So uh, here you can see the small gap of 5 millimeters which is also shown in the left hand side view by the hidden hidden line and the semicircle in the front view is also shown in the left hand side view which is uh, till the mid of an object which is around 20. The inner circle has the radius of 10 millimeter and the outer circle has 20 millimeters. Yeah so let's begin. So first we'll select the projection line and uh, we'll make the outline of this object. So here's the height of an object is 70, 70, enter, 40, enter which is off left hand side and we'll complete this box and again the uh, 40 of front view and we'll complete it. This is the perfect outline of this object. So here we'll place the origin point and the front view will be here and the left hand side will be here. So let's start the actual drawing by selecting continuous lines and we'll first make the front view then we'll go to the left hand side view. Whenever you want the straight and accurate line just extend the line and trim it. So if you want just slow the video till 0.75 or 0.5 and draw with me. So to get the inner gap of semicircle we'll select ellipse and then axis end and then we'll select the isocircle at the bottom. If the isocircle is not selected we'll get the random ellipse. So initially the isocircle takes the input of radius so we'll catch the midpoint and uh, enter the radius. If the uh, circle is not matching your plane so you can press F5 and adjust accordingly.
so here I have taken the reference line of 20 millimeters uh, for the further help trim all the uh, axis line uh, which will be not seen from the origin perspective here is the second method to draw the inner gap of semicircle the reference line above 30 millimeter to draw the circle so here the outer radius is 20 and the inner is 10 Here I am taking the reference line to draw the circle behind it. Here I am trimming the axis line uh, but the projection lines are not recommended to be trimmed before the drawing has been completed. Copy both the circle and trace down it with the reference line. Catch the quadrant point here and complete it. You can just uh, trim the projection line or uh, go in the layer settings and just turn it off. Yeah, so here we are done with the drawing and dimension will be not given in the isometric projection. So for the PDF, uh, press Ctrl P and do whatever I am doing. Always preview your drawing before exporting it. Yeah, so finally we are done with the drawing. So if you got any help from this video, just like it. 
uh, and for, for further questions I might be posting a normal video without explanation if anybody wants any kind of explanation for the particular question please uh, put it down in the comment section